So in the previous video, I installed this faucet right here and a lot of people were asking about the drain because I did not show that. So here's the follow up video to that video showing you how to install this drain. So the main thing you'll need is a nice set of pliers. They need to be big pliers. These are oftentimes called plumber's pliers and it's crucial for fitting pipe, uh, removing the old drain and installing the new drain. So you will need a, a nice pair of pliers like this. You'll also want some sort of receptacle because when you remove the old drain, there's that U-pipe that drips down water. So you want to catch it somewhere so you don't smear all over and make a big mess. And lastly, you'll need some Teflon. If you're doing metal to metal connectors, you're going to want to use a little bit of this to really get a good seal. So the first step is to clear out everything from under the sink so that we have a nice area to work with. Alright, now our space is nice and clear and we can get started. We're going to go ahead and loosen up this nut, this nut, and this nut back here and uh, so that we can remove the old drain. Make sure that your container is lined up underneath. As you can see, a whole bunch of water spilled out, so I'm glad we were able to catch it. This is also a good opportunity to clean this out because it's probably pretty gross from decades of use. Alright, so this is the grossest part by far. I had to go get gloves because the top was screwed really tough in. But I finally was able to unscrew it and now we can go ahead and remove the old drain. So There we go. Here's the old one now. It's absolutely gross. All right, before throwing out this old drain, we're gonna need this bottom bit to connect to that U-pipe. So make sure you save this. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off any debris that we have up here. Get this all cleaned up. This is what it looks like from up top. You can see it's really gross, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it all down first. Alright, now we're ready for the new faucet. So, we're going to go ahead and remove this bottom bit. And just slide it through. Oftentimes people use plumber's putty at this point, but these have these nice silicon gaskets which don't really require plumber's putty. but do what you want. Now we have to go back and re-add this bit. Actually, I skipped a step. We're gonna add a little bit of Teflon. So let's clean this bit out. And there we go. That's mounted up there. We're gonna come back later and make sure it's really tight with the plumber's pliers, but we're gonna fit the U-pipe right now. Alright, so I bumped into a small problem where my drain is just barely too short for the pipe. I had to go to Home Depot and pick up this extender right here. It's going to fit right here and it's going to give us the couple extra centimeters that we need to get this fitted properly. First, I'm going to have to cut it a little bit though, so let's do that. Alright, so now that we have cut our extender, we're going to add the nut back on here, like so. And then we're going to connect this bit, and now we can tighten this properly. Alright, so the extender came with a new cap, which we're going to throw up. So we're going to add this right here, and then add this underneath. Now these plastic bits, you don't want to tighten too hard or with your pliers because you can strip like these corners, but you can get a good amount of leverage just with your fingers. And then this bit down here, this is fine, you can... And there we go, we added the extender, it's all snug, all that's left to do is 
run the water and test it. So, let's go. Let's, uh, fingers crossed for no leaks. And there's no water dripping. We can see that it's all working the way it should. Yep, no wetness, nothing. And then now we can also test out the, the plug. That works. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.